Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Project High Rise. It's 69 over to Potato Avenue. We are continuing. And I don't know, we've got a lot of stuff that's going on in this building, and there's a hugely catastrophic uh, misuse of space occurring right now. And I kind of want to try and fix that. I kind of want to move away from smaller stuff and and move towards uh, larger offices but I don't know it's gonna be really really challenging to make that happen but we're gonna do our very very best to uh, to convert things we've already started the conversion process we put all of our utilities right down the right hand side of the building right down the right right down the right hand side of the building and uh, and that's actually looking pretty darn uniformed and pretty pretty nice uh, we do have a metro station can't change that doesn't matter what happens we just can't do anything about that, so we're gonna have to leave that there, I guess. Um, and also, in the basement, we've actually... I really, really like the layout of the basement. Like, it's not perfect, not by any stretch of the imagination, but it's not half bad. Um, the utilities and stuff that are provided down in the basement, not the most efficient use of space, but not bad at all. Not bad at all, and I'm actually fairly happy with the way that it has uh, turned out. So, there you go. However... Offices over here, these guys need to go. Like, these these guys just need to go. Uh, the apartments that we've got going on, you know, I like luxury studio apartments. I think that it's nice, but I think that maybe we want to get rid of, of them and try and move towards a larger bedroom model. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if we're going to want to have lots of two-bedroom apartments I don't know. I mean, at the moment, right? At the moment, we've we've not even got, like, one-bedroom apartments. That would fit, actually, really, really nicely in there. Huh. Didn't see that before. Uh, and then two-bedroom apartments as well, we're going to need to upgrade to. So, you know, we've got a lot of stuff uh, accessible at the moment, but unfortunately, it's just a chronic misuse of space that is occurring. So what I'm thinking that we're going to do is, you know, since, since I realized that now, one-bedroom apartments, let's get a couple of one-bedroom apartments just, uh just installed here. I think four might be enough. What are the requirements for this? Uh, basic one bedroom apartment, what is this? Uh, build cost minus 300, prefers upper floors, hates noisy areas. Well, if we go and have a look at the noise map. Yeah, there's no noise over here, so that's fine. Uh, I don't presume, I presume you're gonna hate smelly areas as well. Guess not, doesn't matter. Handyman, plumber, we've got all this stuff. Uh, housekeeping, we don't have housekeeping here. But we could actually get some luxury one-bedroom apartments. Yeah, apart from the fact that we don't have any money at the moment, and we've got two loans out at the same time, we are actually in an okay situation. We're absolutely in a fine situation. Uh, but no, we're going to be converting some luxury one-bedroom apartments, and fingers crossed it'll go, uh, go kind of well. We do want to contact the maintenance men and renovate all of the units that are currently falling into a severe state of disrepair. Quite frankly, though, I'm inclined not to do that. I kind of want these guys to move out. Kind of want those guys to move out, but I kind of don't want to kick them out. Ah, well, that's a shame. That's a shame that they're not going to move on through their own, their own, their own free will. Yeah, we might have to give them a little bit of a shove by uh, by upping their rent, but we'll we'll worry about that a little bit later on. It's most importantly, though, it's most importantly, it's most important that we actually get an, uh, a, a little bit more money, and we can do that at midnight, which is the key here. Uh, in terms of our achievements that we need to go after, or contracts, whatever that we need to go after, people magnet, just get more people, and office drones. Yeah, I prefer the people magnet because it's just better. I, I'm, you know, I'm not a fan of being confined to just building offices, and quite often offices require a large, large, large amount of infrastructure around them, which is kind of a little bit annoying, but hey-ho. Have faith, folks, have faith. Orbital Potato Avenue is going to be looking very swanky indeed. Uh, does it actually cost us to bulldoze some stuff? Oh no, it totally doesn't. Alright. Oh shit. We probably shouldn't do this then. Let's let's not let's not fuck around with this. All right, let's just. Yeah, there there is even though we've got the boxes here, we haven't laid the cables down. So let's just let's just avoid fucking with with anything until we get a little bit more money, 
a little bit more freedom to play around and do whatever the heck we want. Okay, cash flow, 4,200. We got your prestige is rising. We got 10 prestige now. That is lovely. All right, let's have a look. Luxury one-bedroom apartments, luxury one-bedroom apartments, luxury one-bedroom apartments, luxury one-bedroom apartments, and luxury one-bedroom apartments. Okay, can we get them constructed, please? Uh, what about getting these bad boys set up? What about a tech office? It needs a greater variety of large restaurants. Yeah, uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get any of the stuff here. Yeah, shit. We need a lot more clothes. We need a lot more clothes. Uh, we need a lot more clothes and shops and stuff before we can properly, properly uh, get a lot more higher level offices. But that's that's okay, to be honest. No, nothing that would really fit in here. It's a little bit annoying. Is there any office structures that would fit in here? Could get... Nah. Don't really want to do that, to be honest. Retail stores, two-story retail stores. Oh, we could get some retail stores in here. But they're apartments, and I don't really want to... I don't want to mix apartments, and I don't want to mix retail. That's not really my cup of tea. Southern Dental Office. Yeah, I mean, this is a fucking mess right now. This is a real fucking mess. Hmm. I think we're just going to let things get worn down a little bit. I think that's the plan. You know what? Let's, let's actually invest in our infrastructure. It's going to cost us a lot of money. But I'm going to try and get it properly covered. Uh, shit. Gas. Oh, shit. We're not gonna have enough money for this, are we? Oh. No, we're, we're actually just straight up out of money. Look. Why are you... Why are you getting annoyed, even though there's nobody actually living there? Yeah, you need a TV and gas. Perhaps we shouldn't splurge all... TV, all on TV, all at the same time, but hey-ho. At least we're making money from some of our luxury apartments. That's uh, a good thing, I guess. That's a good thing. 4,200 to renovate all of the tenants. That's kind of bonkers. Uh, so apparently there's one resident living in here. Honestly, I don't know why you're not just... Oh my, why don't you just move downstairs? Move downstairs! The view is practically the same. So I don't know why... You're complaining. I don't know why. I I, I don't know. It, it's it's ridiculous. Uh, Alright, let's have a look at the traffic areas. Seems that, that this little food parlor area is getting a decent amount of traffic, even though it's on a higher floor. That's really encouraging, actually. That is very, very encouraging. Yeah, I know you're kind of in a little bit of a pickle right now, but honestly, there's not much that I can do about that. How close are we to filling the goal? About a hundred people off before we get three grand. That's quite far off, to be honest. That's quite far off. Okay, can we use some of our buzz? I'm thinking that infrastructure operating costs. Uh, renovation cost. Renovation cost minus 50%. That would be kind of nice if we wanted to renovate everything at the same time. Uh, apartment construction cost minus 50%. Take on an extra contract. That would be kind of cool. I'm going to take ad placements. It's always, you know, it's just a solid, good, uh, you know, place for our for us to spend our buzz. Yeah, you moved out. Fucking great. Oh, my God. Look at that. Yeah, we're losing. We're losing prestige. We're losing prestige, folks. We're losing prestige. Oh, sorry. Let the people fix that stuff up. Where's Rebecca? There she is, the original and the best. And of course, Leonard. Maybe they've got some sort of an office relationship going on. You know, like, uh, like a sneaky little romance. You, there was nobody even living in there. I should not get penalized for that. That is fucking bollocks. That is real horse trash. All right, let's replace it as soon as we can. All right, luxury, and maybe not luxury. Let's get this deluxe, I suppose. Uh, just because I'm not entirely sure that we're going to be able to fill these apartments up, unfortunately. Housekeeping services needed. 
Okay, but there's nobody living there. Like, why, why does that matter? Why does it matter if there's no one living there? Who knows? That's office supplies. We don't need that. Housekeeping services. Do we have the space for this? No, we do need it. You know what? I'm gonna... I'm gonna build a bunch of extra... of extra stuff right now. Uh, if we could get that built pronto, then that would be grand. Still fine with using stairs in the basement. Honestly, uh, they're super cheap, super, super effective, and nobody that lives in the building actually needs to, uh, to, to walk down them, or walk up them, should I say, so... It's completely fine. Yeah, if you guys could just start work on this, then that would be that would be real swell. Housekeeping services. Why, why would you leave two blocks there? Oh my god. It's like you guys have never built anything before. Come on. Come on. Get your shit together. Uh, okay, utilities need to be connected. Alright, I've got a question. If I... If I build... Oh no, fuck it. I'm gonna need to build this anyway. Let's just build it. Just build it. Utility cabinet over there. And... Plumbing closet over here. This needs to be connected to gas. Fantastic. So much money. And water too. Oh my god. So much money. And apparently a telephone connector. Oh my god. I've spent so much. And electricity, of course, electricity. Uh, just take all my money, why don't you? And are we out of electricity now? Oh, great. We totally fucking are. Oh my god. Just, uh. <sighs> all I wanted to do was get some luxury apartments up and running. And what happened? I got completely shafted. Um, now, we're going to have to get a super cheap one for now. Just connect it to the grid. Uh, yeah, we also need to get some utilities connected up here. It should have been done a fairly long time ago. But, honestly, who gives a damn? Yeah, let's connect it from the proper one so that we're... Not super dependent on these boxes, because these boxes are going to be, uh, you know, we're going to be getting rid of them. Let me guess, we've run out of TV connecting uh, slots. Where is the TV connector? Right there. Yep, I thought so. Oh my god. It's, you know, I guess this is what it's like being, being a landlord, isn't it? It must be an absolute bloody nightmare. What? Oh shit, I don't have a thousand bucks. You guys are going to move out because you don't have TV. Oh my god. Oh my god, you're... Oh. You don't have... You don't have TV, and therefore you're going to get super annoyed. Look, I am going to... I'm going to make you a one-off deal. 50% on rent. Until we can get the, uh, the TV receptors fixed. See, I'm a really great, great guy. 50% just so that we don't have more people moving out my god My god people moving out is cost us so much prestige So 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 much prestige Although we did make seven grand the last day and you know, that's pretty much a one-off, but it's not bad It's not bad at all. It's not bad at all. We'll take it. We'll take it although it looks like we're only gonna be making Around about four grand today, which is a little bit shitty, but yeah, whatever. All right, um, can we even get financial offices? I mean, greater variety of large restaurants, restaurants with a bar area, restaurants that serve dinner, variety of medium stores. God damn, that's that's kind of savage. Oh my god. Rent is too high. Oh, yeah, shit. Yeah, we actually need to... What? Who moved out? You moved out. Oh, my God. Please don't leave. Please don't leave, people. All right. Your rent's getting bumped up. Your rent's getting bumped up. I'm getting rid of these people. I'm getting rid of them pretty damn soon. All of them. 200% rent. Quite honestly, I don't care. I, I know that you're going to be paying shit tons of money. 
for total shit, but there you go. Alright. Fingers crossed they all move out because we want to get rid of them. It might cost us a little bit of uh, prestige, but that's okay. We'll take it. Okay, we made five and a half, six grand. That's fine. Honestly, that's that's great. You moved out. Are you shitting me? You moved out? Oh my god. Well, we can get our TV thingy set up, which is kind of nice. Um, what? That costs 1,500, and then that costs 17,000. Fuck me. All right, let's just get a more expensive cable connector. We might as well. And it means that we can get rid of this one as well, so... Saving a little bit on running expenses here. Cable TV, let's get it connected up. There we go, that's that's hooked into the mainframe now, so... That should be perfect. A lot of people moving out. I would suspect a lot of prestige has been lost, but that's okay, we'll deal with it. And when I say deal with it, fingers crossed we deal with it. Yeah, so it looks like we're having a little bit of a, uh, a drop in demand for the luxury one-bedroom apartments. I mean, we've got one sold, but that's about it. That's a little bit annoying. Obviously, we can't just provide for luxury homeowners. We need to provide for everybody, you know? That's kind of what we need to try and do. Uh, we can't renovate, any, like, everything, but... I don't want to do the offices, right? I, I can do restaurants, retail, and apartments. That's what I would love to do. I don't really want to do the offices because the offices are A, going to cost a lot of money, and B, we actually kind of want to force most of the people who are in an office out. And this is a very costly, costly thing to do, right? Because on one hand, we are going to be losing a lot of face. We're going to be losing a lot of, uh, a lot of you know, good hard-earned respect. But unfortunately... It's something that just needs to be done. We need to just purge off all of the old shitty offices that we've had sitting around for a long time and uh, and get rid of them. Uh, you guys, you should probably move as well. Honestly, I'm thinking that I'm going to bump up your fees. I'm going to bump up your fees too. And fingers crossed we can kick you out. Yep. Yeah. I mean, you know what? For a little while, we'll be making an absolute, an absolute shit ton of money. But there you go. Uh, the interior decorators, we kind of want to get rid of these guys, I think, as well. Gonna get rid of you. Gonna get rid of you. We are, we are gonna be in some serious financial difficulty, by the way. But I think that this, fingers crossed, should work. I'm really, really hoping that, uh, that this is gonna work. We have lost a significant amount of customers, by the way, but no matter, we shall be fine. We shall be fine. Not concerned. Not concerned in the slightest. So what is this? This is a... Da, 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 da. That's a medium restaurant? Yeah, that's a medium restaurant. Let's get some large restaurants. I think that, that might be a good course of action. Or perhaps we want to get some retail spaces. Holy shit, we've only got the small stores. We don't even have medium stores. Holy shit. Yeah, we need to get ahead of the curve on stores. Uh, I don't have enough space for these bad boys. If we got rid of recycling, we'd have enough space. Can't expand it anymore. Yeah, let me, let me see. Uh, medium store there... And then, yeah, it's just a smidgen too large. Do medium stores need... No, they don't actually need recycling on their level. So it might actually be worth just getting rid of the recycling on this level. Although, that calls into question another huge problem. And that huge problem would be, what about everybody else? What about the recycling on, this, on that level? I, I don't know how that's going to work. Uh... Smell, does smell come from, doesn't really look like it comes from the recycling centers. So perhaps we take a relatively dramatic decision and move the recycling center, at least on this level, at least on this level, to this side. This might cause a whole bunch of problems, but I'm really, really hoping that it's not going to. 
Oh my god, really? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. All right, let's let's have a look at this. Water, we seem to have some problems to be expected, quite frankly. Let's get water out here. Water out there. Gas as well, we're going to have issues with, I would imagine. Honestly, that's fine. That's fine. We can just leave it like that, right? Yeah, everybody's pretty pretty chill with that. That's cool. Then let's get our bloody recycling center. Yay. There we go. And then we can get some medium stores, allocate them properly, and it fits in. That's great. That's exactly what we need to do. We just need to be more efficient with our use of space. Um, all right. Got people moving out, which is good. Let's set up... Let's get appliances and houseware. If I know, let's get you. Holy shit. Yes, you pay 270 bucks. You pay 405. Holy cow. Well, let's get the two the two most high paying customers. A small geometric abstract painting. Yeah, we might have to get rid of that one. We might have to be getting rid of that. Uh, a restaurant. Restaurant will fit in there quite nicely. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of it. It sucks that we have to do that, but quite frankly, it, it had to be done. Uh, we're going to put a large restaurant up here. Fingers crossed this will fit just nicely. And when I say just nicely, I mean with a little bit of space to spare. Uh, you, a sports bar, Mexican restaurants, brunch spots, family restaurants. I think family restaurants, dinner and early dinner, serves dinner and has a bar. All right, let's go for a Mexican restaurant. Yeah, that seems like a pretty good idea to me. Uh, electricity hookup. There we go. Okay, we are on to an absolute winner. Now, we're not straight up going to be able to fill these offices that we planted down here, which are the... Da, 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 I think they're meat. No, not medium. Large offices. Yeah, we're not straight up going to be able to fulfill the demand in the large offices because there's a whole bunch of shit that they require. But we're working on it. We're absolutely working on it, and I think that we're going to migrate into a situation where all of this side down here is shops and eateries and all the interesting stuff like that, whereas this side is going to be a mix of offices and apartments. I don't quite know how the balance is going to work out. Uh, we might have them interspersed, but who knows? I don't know. You're going to have to tune in next time, ladies and gents, because that has been it for this episode of Project High Rise. My name, of course, has been Obito Potato. This has been 69 Obito Potato Avenue, and I will see you next time. Bye.